Well, hello, I'm Chris Hudson here at the Digital News Desk. We are tracking Hurricane Milton as it is getting ready to make landfall in Florida. So let's go ahead and get you right over to the maps and talk about it. Currently a Category 4 hurricane with winds of 130 miles per hour moving to the north-northeast at about 16 miles per hour. So racing off to the northeast, getting ready to make landfall there in Florida. Forecasted by the National Hurricane Center to make landfall as a Category 3 hurricane with winds of 125 miles per hour right around Sarasota, Florida. And uh, it's going to be providing devastating impacts to the state of Florida already really impacting them as far as tornadoes throughout the day. So let's go ahead and get you over to our satellite and radar. You can see racing off towards the uh, north, northeast there. You can see that eye wall, not a lot of activity to the south of the storm. And that's because wind shear is pulling the storm to the north and kind of making it a lopsided storm there. So Milton is a little bit lopsided this afternoon as it's getting ready to make landfall in Florida, but kind of pausing that radar and zooming in, you can see devastating eye wall there still for Milton, just offshore of Sarasota, Florida, and Tampa and Tampa Bay. So very devastating storm going to be making landfall. It's now forecast to make landfall right around Sarasota. That's a little bit of good news for Tampa Bay, and I use that term very lightly because it just means that the storm surge isn't going to be as bad in the Bay Area, but Sarasota, devastating storm surge all the way from Sarasota down towards Fort Myers with that storm surge potentially reaching upwards of 15 feet at times. Tampa Bay is still going to see winds of about 125 miles per hour as this makes landfall this evening. And I was talking about the tornadoes. There's already several confirmed tornadoes with this storm. They've been big wedge tornadoes at times, which is kind of rare for a hurricane. So that just shows you the strength of this hurricane as it's getting ready to make landfall in Florida. Still a lot of debris left over from Hurricane Helene. that's going to be picked up and moved away from the wind and the storm surge. But to kind of time this storm out for you, you can see what we're talking about with it making landfall right around Sarasota, Florida this evening. Now, the National Hurricane Center is saying landfall right around 8 p.m. I wouldn't be surprised to see landfall closer uh, to 7 or 7.30 p.m. this evening. But you can see Tampa Bay still seeing that eye wall. That's the reds and the pinks there uh, of the, the rain there. So very heavy rain, very devastating wind. And then Tampa Bay is going to see the storm surge on the backside of the storm as it moves off towards Orlando and Melbourne still expected to be a hurricane as it kind of moves across the peninsula of Florida over towards the Atlantic and providing crazy, crazy wind this evening, early in the morning and into uh, tomorrow as well. Now, as we're going back over to the forecast track, you can see it does eventually move away from Florida, remaining a hurricane, but before then making landfall in Florida as a devastating Category 3 hurricane right around the Sarasota, Florida area, providing life-threatening storm surge that cannot survive if you're on a barrier island. So a lot of evacuations have taken place, and that is a good thing that we've had all those evacuations, and hopefully it's really going to help. But uh, yeah, going to be tracking this as it makes landfall in Florida over the next couple of hours this evening as we have just another devastating hurricane for Florida. In the Digital News Desk, this is Chris Hudson.